hello everybody happy friday it is time for a full on friday and we are out getting some exercise my friend is with me we are walking out in the back 40 to do two things and technically three and it's what i come on today to share with you for full on friday and that is one deep breath you know how we do it in through the nose out through the mouth really hard all right, getting oxygen moving. Now, we're out here in the back 40, one, and it's early, so we get that sunshine. It's so good. It's so good for just your skin. Uh, it's not the damaging kind. For your mental state, for moving your body. That's the other reason why we're out here, and that is just to gently move. I think that uh, so much remote work has us all sitting down. Are you still working remote? Are you back in the office? How do you feel about it? There's my friend. <laughs> She's a new addition to the family and she's so loved and so spoiled already. So that's the other thing. How are you making contact with your friends this week? With your family this week? I'm going somewhere with this. As we're in the middle of our full on Friday and slowing down, getting ready for Shabbat. We're also getting ready here in the United States for Thanksgiving. And it can be a time of tremendous joy. It can also be a time of tremendous stress and trigger past hurts, bad memories. So the unique thing about family traditions and holidays, I think two, two things, because they are different sides of the same coin. On one side of the coin, there are amazing memories. And on the other side of the coin, there are bad memories. This is why as you are getting your, start getting ready now, like if I was going to be, I'm not cooking dinner this year. I'm not cooking the Thanksgiving dinner. We're going out. <sighs> Deep breath. If you were going to be cooking the dinner, you would be preparing now. You would be getting the bird, planning out the thawing, preparing the sides, the menu, what needs to be purchased, what can be made ahead of time. So as I say all of that, as you're preparing the menu to eat, how can you prepare your mental state, your emotional state to be there, be present and have a good time? Before you even get to the dinner, get to the event, what can you do now? Because you know there's gonna be somebody there who triggers you in a negative way. Family members who love you may say things that are inappropriate and will just trigger you. And hey, God bless them. You choose how you respond and react to that environment. And it also might be possible that you choose not to be in it at all. And if that's for your safety, your mental and emotional safety, that's okay. There's no harm in that. You're an adult, you get to choose how you do life. And so that's why I wanted to stress today in our full on Friday that you choose now to prepare you mentally and emotionally, fill your love cup up for yourself, strengthen you, have a plan. That way, when you get there, and if you think that, well, you know, Uncle Bob's going to be there and he's going to say something again, as usual, and it's going to be upsetting, and I don't want to give in or get triggered by that, it's okay. Have a one, two, three plan for you, how you're going to deal with that. And the plan could be, well, I'm not even going. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. Cause you do you. I feel like we are in a season of preparation and 2024 will be here before we know it. And you need to make conscious decisions now to strengthen you, to be ready for that season ahead. And it's going to be a bold season and it's going to require the best version of you. So I say all of that. Full on Fridays are a little bit longer. I just saw the timer. I say all of that to ask you today, as you're getting ready to Shabbat, what are the tools you can put today, Friday? Because next Friday, boop, next Friday is Black Friday, just like that. Next Thursday, you are less than a week away from Thanksgiving. And how to prepare for an amazing, so that you're like, 2023 was the best Thanksgiving ever. It's because you have the chance now to prepare the menu, the mental and emotional menu, to have you ready to enjoy, to have 
comments that you know are possibly going to come just roll off of you and not even stick and not trigger you and you will feel so much better about yourself for it. So prepare your mental and emotional menu now so that you can have the best holiday celebration ever. That's a good thing. Please get some, get some sunshine if you can. It's good for you. Get moving your body. And one of the challenges I have faced in the last, uh, the truth, three weeks is that I have not been doing my workouts at the intensity level I need to. So it's like putting a, a check saying, okay, you're getting fitness and getting some gentle walks in, but for heart cardiovascular health, I need to work at a higher level. So I'm holding myself accountable. Where can you hold yourself accountable? I know there's places and I know there's ways that you can do. Don't be hard on you. You're so precious. You're so valuable. Please do not hate on you. Be hard on you. You're so valuable and you're so needed and you're so loved. Even if you don't feel that in your physical everyday presence, you are. God loves you so much. So please don't be hard on you. Please do some mental emotional preparation for next week. You'll be glad you did. You will be glad you did. It'll make it more enjoyable, I promise. Move your body. Get some sunshine. Get ready for a beautiful, amazing, wonderful holiday season. There's so much to be thankful for, grateful for. Oh, I thank God for French chocolate, French silk pie is my favorite. When I think about Thanksgiving, I, as a child, we went to big family gatherings. And now the family is smaller, so we have a smaller gathering. But I still want to hit the favorite foods. And that would be the number one side dish of all time, the green bean casserole. That might trigger a few of you right there. A favorite dessert. I, I don't really like pumpkin pie or sweet potato pie. I'm, I could take a bite of it, but moving on. My favorite is chocolate French silk pie. And then I do like a bit of turkey. My family traditionally does turkey for Thanksgiving and does prime rib roast for Christmas. And I'm looking forward to prime rib roast. I love prime rib. So what are some of your Thanksgiving memories that you can build up the love bank in your head? Mine is I love being together with the family, though we don't get together like that anymore. And I'm grateful for those times, though now I'm going to enjoy a smaller celebration. Filling up my love tank... I love, I stuffing is when you put the stuffing in the bird. Dressing is when you cook it on the side. I love a firm, almost, almost crunchy stuffing with ladles of gravy over it. Those are favorite things and ways that I'm filling up my love cup with positive memories. And I am getting ready for the Thanksgiving season that is going to be next week. If I can do it, you can do it. This is our full on Friday. I hope you're getting a takeaway of you are so valuable. You need to invest in you and do that right now by investing loving, kind thoughts. Only speak love. Your subconscious is always listening. Only speak. This is mouth school. Your homework in mouth school, because we are in the era of pay. So everything you say you are accountable for. Would you in mouth school this next week, because I'll see you next Friday. Please be very conscious of speaking love, life, prosperity, positive over you. Homework for you. Let me know in the comments that you did your homework and you were conscious to catch the words that are coming out of your mouth if they are not good for you. Isn't that a beautiful way to think about it? Is this a healthy word for me? Okay, maybe I won't speak that out. And if I did speak it out, I'm going to catch it real quick and then put it back in and redo it and speak it kindly. All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love full on Fridays because it just lets me slow down and share with you and be with you. And going forward, have a beautiful, amazing weekend. Good Shabbos to you. I will see you next Friday. It'll be good Friday. No, no, no. It'll be Black Friday. And that's a good thing. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for joining me.